1909 VDB sent in PR67 plus wet condition, another CEC proven super rare gem. The 1909 VDB Lincoln Sand is indeed a notable and historically significant coin in the Lincoln Sand series. It was the first year of issue for the Lincoln Sand, replacing the Indian head sand. And it featured a portrait of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse. The initials VDB stand for the coin's designer, Victor David Brenner, and they appear on the reverse of the coin at the bottom. In the initial minting of 1909 VDB sent for circulation, the designer's initials were quite prominent. However, public sentiment at the time led to concerns that, that the Brenner's initials were too conspicuous, which could be seen as an act of vanity. As a result, the mint quickly modified the design to reduce the size of initials. While the 1909 VDB Lincoln Sand is not considered extremely rare, its proof versions is more limited in numbers compared to regular circulation strike. This super gem ended up selling for $194,062.50 with buyer's fee. This is 1961D Washington Quarter in MS67 plus condition. Undoubtedly, from an original mint set, this is originally an attractively toned Washington Quarter. Displays the most vivid shades of emerald, orange, and gold, particularly on the obverse. The surfaces are delightfully smooth and the luster is nothing short of intense. Also available in an absolute sense, a late date, 90% silver Washington Quarter issues such as 1961D are surprisingly rare in the finest mean state grades as here. It was sold for $24,000. And this is 1939D Jefferson Nickel in MS68 condition with full steps, a scarcer variety from the second year of Jefferson Nickel production. Faint gold and peach tones dominate the patina with tints of powder blue accenting the rims. The luster is uniform and satiny across each side, complementing the overall untouched surfaces. This variety is remarkably challenging in grades above MS66 and exponentially more so when the full steps detail is considered. It was sold for $26,400. This is 1914 D Lincoln Sent in MS64 red condition. According to NGC, though sharply struck 1914 D cents are found, most have moderate dye erosion and loss of detail. The label of Lincoln's coat being a shallow feature of the design, often lost to severe dye polishing. This rarity is often faked by adding a D-mint mark to the Philadelphia coins or by shaving down the first four on the 1944 D-sets. Both alterations are easily detected. This specimen was sold for $4,320. According to Greg Reynolds, on January 25, 2023, a new auction record for a common coin was established. A 1919 Philadelphia Mint Lincoln Cent brought $412,500. This penny was PCJ certified as MS69 with full mint red designation and it was approved by CEC. It is fair to theorize that the CEC sticker contributed to this extremely strong price. This coin is only pre-1934 cent of any type that has been graded as MS69 by PCGS. Here is 1946S Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. Approaching perfection, this tantalizing smooth 46S quarter does not reveal so much as a single trivial detraction. Potent frosty luster is very much in evidence, however, as it beautiful toning in crimson russet, orange gold and silver rose colors, simply exquisite, it was sold for $14,950. This is 1934 Washington quarter with double dye obverse. Graded in mid state 65 plus by PCGS, a dramatic doubling is readily evident, owning God with trust. This is a flashy, vibrantly lustrous specimen, wound at Stella Colbert registry set with supremely rusty ice white surfaces and bold striking definition, nearly pristine on both sides, with simply outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $2937.50. Here is 1910 Lincoln Cent with a punched mint mark S. S stands for San Francisco branch of the mint, graded in mint state 67 red by PCGS. A pristine example of this rare variety with vibrant olive gold coloration across each side. The fields are blanketed in dense, mud-like luster, complementing the more satiny texture of devices, incredibly sharp throughout and spared from notable blemishes of any sort. A highly sought-after variety 
the 1910S FS502 is an underrated variety that sits in the shadow of more famous varieties like 1958 and 1969S. However, advanced Lincoln collectors recognize its true rarity and its often jewel in the most specialized collections. It was sold for $19,200. And here is 1922 No D Lincoln scent with strong rivers, an outstanding choice on circulated survivor of the popular and conditionally challenging 1922 No D scent. The obverse is typically soft in strike, although all major design elements are fully appreciable in the absence of wear. Sharply defined throughout the rivers, with ample pinkish row luster on both sides. Minimally toned, this premium quality example is more red than brown. The most desirable of three dye pairs known for 1922 no descent. Dye pair 2 is missing the mint mark due to overzealous polishing of the obverse dye. This representative of rare error variety in MS64 condition ended up selling for $63,000. This is exceedingly rare 1958 Lincoln scent with double dye obverse graded in mint state 64 red by PCGS. According to, according to Stax Powers, an intriguing variety and exceedingly rare coin that stands tall among the highlights in the present collection. A particularly strong double die in the 20th century US coinage series, all types included. The spread to the doubling is wide and pronounced on the letters in the word liberty, and the motto in God we trust. Less pronounced doubling is also evident on the digits in the date, particularly the 8. The spread on the lettering rivals that of the famous 1955 and 1972 double diverse scents. Although the extreme rarity of the 1958 double diverse means that this variety is less well known than those other. This is 1971 D half dollar struck on a 40% silver planchet, a fascinating and rare wrong planchet error. According to Stax Powers, an issue that was produced using the then new copper nickel clad composition struck on a 40% silver planchet in error. As the Denver Mint used that composition for its 1970D half dollar issue, this planchet was obviously left over from the preceding year's coinage. Boldly struck with satiny luster, both sides exhibit only the lightest suggestions of toning to otherwise silver gray surfaces. Exceedingly rare, of great significance to advanced mint error enthusiasts. It was sold for $9,900. Here is 1945 D. Jefferson Nickel in mint state 68 condition with full steps. These delectable, superb gem exhibits virtually flawless surfaces. The strike is razor sharp throughout, and there is not even a single detracting abrasion. Also beautifully toned, both sides are layered in soft pastel iridescence of sandy gold, pale pink, ice blue and mint green. Simply gorgeous. The surfaces are simply incredible in their preservation and are graced by delicate pastel hues. It was sold for $2,880.